I'm tired of getting effed in the A. Seemingly every day. On days like today when I load up RimWorld. In the kitchen and dining room, colonists have hurled. There's blood and dust on the tiles and floors. And crud and must on the refrigerator. And everyone is a whore. Well, actually, no, they're not whores. They're all celibate male, uh, cowboys. I don't know, it's kind of fucked up. Anyway, uh, our colony trudges on. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure, uh, Minor 3, he's dead. He's got an infection. It's just barely gonna take him. Uh, but we've had a couple deaths, uh, from the fallout, and also the, uh, the mishap with the, uh, Doomsday rocket launcher. But you know what? It's my... I take full responsibility because this is my own personal shit show. Um, and it, you know, it may be a shit show, but it's mine, and I love it. Uh, and that's why I started a 200 colonist, uh, colony. Uh, because I, I wanted it to be this way. Anyway, we've come a long way from nudity and just, uh, general shitty, shitty digs to now, uh... Well, we're gonna go to space. We're gonna try to get one guy into space, and a number of you had suggested that Minor One be the one who goes to space. Where is Minor One? Minor One, carrying bodies still. Uh, he will go to space, because he has been burning all of the dead bodies. Yep, there we go. Dead. Definitely dead. Okay, we gotta burn this body. Never leave a dead body around with a colony of a hundred people. Or they will unbury that body. All right, minor one, step right up. Oh hell yeah, <laughs> he's trying to clean the battle pit. Well done, cleaner three. Let's make sure you don't rock over any traps. Yeah, we're good. We're good. And it looks like they've used the stack XXL mod to, well, like ten times stack everything in the refrigerator. So we're we're happy with that. And in general, nude cowboys are happy people. So I'm not uh well they aren't nude. They're all wearing pants. Most of them have their shirts off. And if they, uh, if they don't, then they're in some sort of, like, uh, trench coat deal, which just means they're gonna flash everyone whenever they see them. Today we gotta get to space, baby. We're- I can taste space. But before that, we'll go through a massive debuff, because they're getting- Well, three colonists died, so that's a negative seven debuff to the entire colony. And many of them also witnessed the death at the hands of one of our own colonists, who slaughtered them all with, uh, Doomsday Rocket Launcher. Um, uh, but on the bright side, they have these nifty war masks now. And I figure if we gotta get one guy to space, and we have 200 people, that means we have 199 expendable pawns. I always wanted to do this. We're going to make an art museum. Our colonists can't get angry if every single part of the colony is decorated with a marble statue. No one could possibly get angry seeing so much beautiful art around. Well, I have no idea how anybody could be a Debbie Downer if they're constantly walking by exquisite sculptures all day, so we've just put them all around the side of our compound. Great, move those sculptures, boys. This will counteract the pissy negative effects of all the RimWorld colonists. Good job, Builder 20. Move those three dicks on over somewhere else. All right, in our dining room, you're forced to look at art. Pro as heck. Pro as heck. Nothing says community like a sculpture in the middle of a rice paddy. Uh-oh, looks like Plants 12 went crazy because of all of his gunshot wounds and his smoke leaf. Now he's, uh, he's stoned on smoke leaf. Well, this is the bright side of putting all of the drugs right next to the hospital. And this, I, I argue this is how it should be done in real life, because they need them. Um, you know, we have all of the good stuff on these tables, and the medicine is over here, a little closer. But if you really need it, Yayo is basically... Ah, uh, some rare good fortune. We have a lot of time on our hands, and people are getting to eat and relax and be merry. <laughs> They're even gathering around the television. Okay, now we're getting tattered apparel debuffs. I guess we better, uh, assign better clothing to them. We'll want to make sure that they don't get the tattered apparel debuffs. I can't remember if it's 50 or 51, but, uh, we'll do that. Uh, and yeah, we'll go any quality, they can do that. So they'll just automatically take off clothes as they, uh, as they experience that now. So Farmer 13 should drop his shitty clothes. Hey, he's wearing a, a crappy wolf skin t-shirt. Take that off, man. All right, this scene is almost biblical in its proportions. Ah, uh, silent night, silent night. There's too many animals. Burn them all. A lot of them. It's time to go on the hunt. <laughs> there they go, there they go. And they're off. They're off on the hunt. Ooh, there's gonna be some fire over here. <laughs> Kill that grizzly bear. Yeah, yeah, get the donkey, yeah, get them all, baby. 
Donkey Revenge. Okay, all right, let's just make sure everybody's using safety. Use safety. Uh, no, you run away. You run the- oh, no! No, there we go. Okay, the donkey is going to die. Uh, I'd not focus on the wall. Well, okay, that's fine. That's fine. You're all alive and that's what matters. The donkey hit him. I want that donkey dead. Stallion revenge. Oh, this looks exciting. Wow, I've never been attacked by a stallion yet. Okay, everyone's getting drafted. Go for the stallion. Go for the stallion. Oh, yeah. Back to hunting. Okay, all of the wildlife is just... Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let's see the fires. Wow, that was very effective. I guess that the- ooh. I guess that the fires is spread to more of them. And that'll lead to more corpse burning. Great, very efficient, very efficient. In the gulag. Oh, great, more taxidermy. There's something so, like, flippant and silly and wonderful- Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, about and then carrying back the animals. It's still- it's still all worthwhile, though. Okay, uh, no, that is a very fast animal. You know what? It's worth it for the friendly fire. We just get- Ooh, I want that mega sloth dead. Ah, shit, farmer- fuck. <laughs> Death in four- okay, fuck. We're gonna need to do some, uh... Alright, boys, you know the drill, you know the drill. Line up. That's two guys, goners, I think. Doctor two on that shit. Put out a sleeping spot right next to him. Save this man! This is why I'm telling you we need to kill each of the animals. Good. Pro as heck. Go. Go in. Go in, baby. I think these guys will be quite alright. Uh, you get away from the- there we go. The donkey is not a threat. Alright, just get him down in these sleeping spots here and we can tend to them. Three hours to death and three hours to death. Not much time left, but Doctor Two. He's got on his surgical mask and a whopping three medical skill. Doctor Eleven, save him. Save him. It's like Red Dead Redemption in here. Good Farmer Ten's gonna pull on through. Farmer One, making his way back to the living. His right eye may be torn out, but, uh, no, there's no positive side of that. I can't think of any whatsoever. At least it doesn't appear on his character. I do feel kind of bad. I mean, this was all completely unnecessary. You know, at least he got the right eye all the way out, though. Like, it would be awkward if he had only partly gotten it out, and then... I would not like that. Rain, is that all you got? Rain? I right, we're being attacked by pirates down here on this end. Uh, can we count? Can we count? I count something like 50, 55. It's, uh, yes. Yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna be enough. Now, they aren't gonna come to us, so we're gonna have to- Ooh, no, you don't want an infection. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to- we're gonna have to go out to them. Uh, you can't use doors. Maybe we could find the guy with the doomsday rocket launcher. Or, uh, the triple rocket launcher. That would probably be pretty effective against these guys. Since they're all huddled up there on the side. Oh, this is perfect! I love it! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Pause, pause, pause. Okay. Can we shyster them to go through this door? Come on, just- all you need to do is open up that door, and it's going to cause a massive, massive war between your two factions. Be good now, just open it- good, 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 good. Yes, 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 I say, okay. We need to send in reinforcements, because these tribes people probably won't survive against them. Um, okay, all of you here in the fields. You're drafted, and you're going to war. I- they'll flank them, I guess? Let's also get these guys out of bed. Uh, they're drafted too, and they're gonna come over here. Now, we come in the back, and we F them in the A over here. While they're getting F'd by these guys up here, okay? And then we're gonna come in, in the- from the back, with all of these lines. Good. Make your way over, good. Good. Good! They are, in fact, hostile toward each other. Okay, come on, Ev get, get everybody involved. Get everybody involved in the fight. Good, they're taking cover. Good, okay. Ah, oh, man, this is really no contest right now, but uh, we, get, we gotta get in there and back them. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, well, fortunately, this has stopped the, um, you know what? We might, uh, will there even be a mortar? We just have to take the incendiary shells, and I'm pretty much will, uh, be fine. Uh, okay, I'll send out that strike force just in case, but, uh, I'll call in some backup later on. Uh, everybody just stand here on the mountainside and get ready to shoot. Holy ball sack! That's a lot of shit. Um, come on. Okay, you just stand in a line. Li line up there like Aomer and the Riders of Rohan at Helm's Deep. Hell yeah. There we go, baby. Now, it's probably gonna be pirates at the end. But attack- good. 
Oh, no, no, no. Don't flee yet. Don't flee yet. Please don't flee yet. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, well, we have to get in there and attack, then. Uh, the- Ah, uh, fuck. It's always the people with more money and technology that get everything. Uh, I wonder if they are even able to set up their mortars anymore. Or if they're just- Oh, no, not the hair meat. Oh, shit. What are we gonna do now? Hmm, you know what? Uh, back off, back off. I think we might be able to take these guys in the kill boxes now. If not, I mean, look at how fucked up they are. There's no way they're gonna be able to start an assault. We might be able to get a guy in there to take that incendiary shell. But, uh, I mean, I wouldn't get something started if I were one of these. You know, back off for a bit. Let's just give them a second, we'll observe. And then get back to our li- Get back to your lives. Talk to the hand, raiders. Talk to the hand. Come on, Builder 9, get out of there, baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do we have any fire in any way? Mmm... Okay, you know what? Stand at the kill box. Stand at the kill box. That's gonna be for the, uh, for the best. It's gonna be safe. Okay, okay, good. Uh, line on up. Line up on up against the wall. And these people here. Good, good. They're actually assaulting instead of, uh... What, well, what they were go- Ooh, ooh. Ooh, F. Ooh, F. Okay, uh, this is... Mmm! Oh, good, good. Hit Christopher. Good. Yeah, get him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ooh, this guy is fucked. Get out of there. Hey, it looks like they're all going for that eastern, uh, trap. Let's just put more people on that thing. These guys are kind of exhausted. Nothing like a naked cowboy wall defense. Classic. No, why would you repair the limestone wall right n Of all times, right now, not a great time. Uh, oh man, their weapons have more range than ours. Okay, we're gonna have to line up against the other wall. I take it back, I take it back. Yeah, this is not a great situation. You know, these guys' weapons outrange ours just by so much. Uh, okay, repair the wall, you all get in there, and get ready to F them. Get ready to F them. I'm gonna say, like, repairs, not a great idea right now. Like, I've got so many people, like, I must repair the wall right now. Right now, it must be done. Just have to line them up as best we can on the side of this wall. Ah, oh, we should make this kill box smaller. I thought this would have been an advantage, but nope. Nope. Yeah, we'll have to stand without defenses. Or do something like, yeah, like this. Yeah. Could make this kill box smaller next time. Smaller will do. Ooh, you have balls of steel, man. Get out of there, though. Get out of there. You know, we don't need more of those. Okay, there they go, into the fray. Mm. Uh, all right, at least we've got the surface area increased. We get the surface area increased. Ooh, shit. Oh, thank God for that. <sighs> that was a lot. That actually exposed a major weakness in our kill box, and it's the fact that Machine pistols are like gangster weapons, <laughs> so we were firing at them with like Uzis. Uh, let's see, he's downed. Let's just strip all their da uh, downed guys. Get him. Uh, not our own people, not our own people. You are not down, but not out. Not out yet. Oh great, we're gonna get a minigun. You get a lot of miniguns and assault rifles and snipers from these guys as well. That's fantastic. We could take all that shit. Great, great. Love pirates. I'm guessing, though, that, uh, s at least someone will- Did no one die? Really? Somebody died. Somebody died. What a waste. What a waste. Submachine guns. Here we go, here we go. Let's save this man. He's stressed. He's gonna die in four hours. Uh, we may need to enlarge our infirmary. Yeah, we're- we're definitely gonna lose some people if we don't get some beds up. Alright, let's makeshift infirmary coming right up. Come on, rescue the people. Rescue your people. Yeah, there we go, friendship and helping. Make it happen, make it happen. Why is your name Memo? <laughs> Ironic that they forgot about Memo. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, don't forget about this guy, he's got a cowboy hat. Well, uh, there's, uh... <laughs> that was a lot, um... It's gonna be a hundred bodies, Jesus. Uh, there should be enough st- um... Alright, blood loss, death. A couple of these were gonna happen. I'm just, uh... It's so much triage, man. It's just so much triage. I wanna let it automatically happen. We'll watch the people when they get into bed, but... 
I'm just gonna zoom through some of this death. Yeah, this is not looking good. This is good. This is not looking good. Oh, there's just so much blood. No, stop. Jeez. Ah. Uh. All right. Well, none of the researchers died. None of the researchers died. They're all safe and unbloodied. Save this man. He can use the hospital bed that the dead guy just got out of. A minor, minor one is safe and healthy. Or safe. We're safe. Oh, and he's smoking weed. Good for him. Good for him. You deserve a minigun. Well, look on the bright side. At least you have art all around you. And your life was going to end anyway, so... It went out with a bang. I mean, our people are expendable. Uh, maybe there'll be some good gear here. Let's see what we can find. All these weapons are bio-coded, though, or at least the, uh, the miniguns. I didn't even know that that existed, but I guess that we can't repurpose them. Ooh. I can't even get the incendiary launcher. That's quite badass, but I'm also pissed. Well, you can't biocode explosive shells. And some drugs, drugs. EMP grenades. <laughs> yeah. All right, and the heels are coming in too. The heels are coming in. Some, pfft. it's uh, yeah. It is. Okay, great. Get a some good old humane creation. Humane cremation. Oh, something exploded here. Something exploded. That was a terrible place for something to explode. That was like the worst place for something to explode in the infirmary. Oh my god. All right, we got people with like, uh, who've been shot with assault rifles who just need to walk it off because we're out of beds. It's a medical crisis. Uh, all right, I gotta sort this stuff out. I guess that's enough for now. We're lucky to be alive. We've got the research almost done for the, uh, I'm gonna have to put a bookmark in this in a second for Starflight Basics, but we've still got a number of things left. I guess we'll start getting started on our, uh, rocket ship next time and see if we can get out of here alive. Well, we've lost a good number of people, but, I mean, hey, we're still in. Uh, we're lucky that those two raids happened over there. I mean, we might get their new gear, uh, except for the stuff that's bio-coded, but it was kind of cool. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, just keep on smoking the weed and all will be well. We're probably down to like 180 now or something, but, uh, I mean, swarm tactics don't work. I think, uh, what really stood out to me on that one, we'll need to make this entrance smaller because the machine pistols have a pathetically poor range. So next time I'll give everybody an incendiary launcher. Oh, no, a sad wander. All right. Uh, I gotta go get to my colonists. Anyway, uh... Thanks. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed this new installment. I'm going to I'm going to go do some micromanaging. Uh, and if you want to join me on a stream, I'm streaming every day 9 a.m. to noon uh, Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. Uh, we've been doing some zombie land rim world on there, so in prep for uh, maybe a new series or something. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. As always, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.